para el despertar de un pueblo. Para que Venezuela despierte definitivamente. Pues bien, Valdrán. 50 years ago, when I was educated here, and learn to appreciate the values of democracy. And how much one has to sacrifice if you really appreciate freedom. This country has been an example for the freedom of individuals, for the respect of thought, for the respect of free speech, for the respect of journalism. All those things I learned here. I started learning here in this very right school, which by the way, I have to congratulate the people who directed the school until the day, because as I said, when I entered this wonderful auditorium, it makes you wish that I could re-enter school and start again. <laughs> when one comes from a family that has given a lot of sacrifice to better the country that one is born. And when one realizes, like Leopoldo said very clearly, that one is a privileged person in that society, there's somehow a debt that develops within one, an obligation that develops within one to give back something to the country that has given so much to us. If you want to see change, change must start with what you can do to change things. Not wait for change to change you. Even if we're different <coughs> in different cultures, in different countries, in the end, we are all equal. In the end, we maintain the same values, we respect the same values, and we, of course, respect a person like Leopoldo, who stands for them. How can we can come out of this? I will use Leopoldo's words. To those who are listening to this, I urge you to follow this event. Learn more and ask others to do the same. The perpetrators of this injustice can only win if the world turns a blind eye. But if people speak, act, and shine a spotlight on what is happening, change will come. The truth is that I do not know how long I will be here. But I do know that for as long as my imprisonment lasts, I will be calm, serene, and clear on my principles and my convictions. I know that one day, and maybe it will be one day soon, although time is something I have learned to master and not to allow to torment me, I will live in freedom and have even more strength than before to fight for the change and for a clear democracy for Venezuela. And when that happens, I look forward to walking down the mall of honor. <laughs>